it's too hot, she said. Oh, it's too cold, she said. But this is just right, she said. As she opened her pretty little mouth and gobbled the porridge down her little pretty throat, she got up, exhaling a trail of sand vaporizing gluttony. I have never seen a her this way, just taking and taking and taking. My nourishment gone, my lord has a mess. Amazed at her counterfeited caress, I saw this culprit in my bed, laying, waiting for someone, not me, for her little white self to be found. <laughs> to bed every morning with sounds and verity, seizing cubs and morning bands, to finally feel the cranberries between my teeth and the satin between my toes, abnormalities of horns and soft satin berries clearly screened below my nose. I tie myself with phallic nouns and advertise tastes for conversation, wrist lined to posts with tenacity where our minds practice vice and castration. I found a reason with first power for every Friday to shower. <laughs> one of my friends asked me to read it, so I'm going to go ahead and do it. Um, it's called Chicago. He lives like a low wind down the windward city, in the willing, mating cabs and loading people. Down one fingers would expostulate cry birds and tattoos, and I do so across skies scraping fixity metals, coordinating walks, still legs. Frazzle nails, drizzle moments, these sob through low perched trees, encounter, counter, counter ways of his late break club doctor tower. His wrists rising frisky palms, search adulation, admiration for contextual intercourse and titivation. With lights harpening translucent time, he ex searches invented motives in translation of lifeblood, spilling adjacent red violets in an walk of the city bow moon. Disconnections of his lowly inner and highly outer match descending glass masses of this in this city, and I speak. You will live in the breeze of Illinois. 